Rico is the ultimate in stealth. Hiding behind a helicopter. They'll never be able to find me here. Oh, oh. No, they won't never be able to see my rocket launcher poking out from behind this thing behind a vibrating helicopter for some reason. Helicopter, vibrate into victory. Oh, no. Well, that's probably a waste, all things considered. But anyway, uh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glacier Kano here today to play some more Just Cause 3. You can tell how long it's been since I've played this game. I probably should have uh, actually showed a little bit of the people that beat me at various feats that I have in this game. Oh boy, I have so many feats. So many feats of sandwiches of deliciousness that I've had. But yeah, it, one of the things said that somebody beat me at whatever 176 days ago. That's how long it's been since I've played Just Cause 3. <laughs> well, maybe a bit more than 176. That's only just like... You know, people like to beat me at things immediately after I play the game, yes, but at the same time, they might not always. I I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's it's about time to take down this giant area. All right, oh no. Go. You can't you can't do anything to me. I may be in a combat zone, but that doesn't mean you... Nice. That was totally me. I did that. I did everything. Even if... <laughs> It just says explosions and stuff in the background. Rico is the perpetuator. He just shows his face in the area and then everybody just immediately wants to start exploding. If you know what I'm saying. It's... Ooh! Oh no. Well... Uh, helicopter? Do you mind? Uh, oh no, it's a tank. Okay. Uh, that tank will probably hurt me in a little while, but... Okay, it hurt me right now. <laughs> I, I'd hope. There's always hope, just like rebellions and whatnot. Because after a long, long time, still speaking of things that took forever, way, way too long than they should have. Yes, this is not actually recorded a long time ago. Or sh should I be saying no? Uh, I just watched Rogue One the other day. <laughs> it took me this long to watch Rogue One, and it was okay. It was okay. You know what is better than okay, though? That. That guy, ooh, he should have known that was coming. That guy, too. I don't know, is this a helicopter? Yeah, it is. You, sir, you are the greatest of warriors. You must become my best friend. Oh, no. Well, you're, you're gonna be my best friend for a total of like 10 seconds before you explode. Which is usually the way it works? Maybe? Not? Oh, no. I... I probably should regret everything right now. There we go! Okay, I guess I'm dead. So... <laughs> hey, at least I looked awesome. He was just, like, about to score a two-pointer in basketball. As most are, if you're going and putting your hand inside of a hoop. And going, look at me, Mom! I can... I can fondle a hoop for some reason. That's a skill in life. Well, at least if you're tall enough and if the, maybe if the hoop is just short, it might not be a skill. But it is a skill, sort of, to be able to dunk. I could, I could still dunk if, I, if the sh hoop is short enough. Maybe even a regular... I don't know, actually, if... In schools, do schools usually... Oh, hello, guys. You you bring me only nothing but pain. Uh. Oh boy. <laughs> I that's exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> you sir. Oh, there we go. It was B to actually unsheath them, as I like to call it when you are uh, going ahead and uh, untethering something. It's it's a sheathing of some sort. You're putting your tethers back inside of your magical pouch because they really are pretty much magic. Or at least it's a kind of magic. You know, it's like a song. See, that deer would almost have the same fate, but at the same time... Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. I think, but I pressed B at the same... Yeah, I'm going the right way. I know my way around this island, like it's the back of that deer. So I guess not very well? 
all things considered, because I'm I'm very up high in the sky and it's hard to see a deer. It's almost a pretty good metaphor. In a way, but not really. Now the real question is Can I actually throw grenades from uh this kind of position? No, I cannot. If you could, that's that's a skill that they need to add as DLC in this game. Like, 100%. Let's do this thing. Here we go. Um... That's very reassuring whenever you see <laughs> that kind of thing happen. Eh. I just showed him my move before I did it to him. That's all I did there. Come on. There we go. Oh boy, there's actually a lot more of them here than I thought there would be. Everybody just drop on the floor. We'll play some tag later on. Hey! Hey there, sir. You're not very polite, so you just go... Uh, eh. You can go like this. Hey, oh no! Well, at least the sniper probably got confused. What is this man doing over there? He just attached a guy to a railing, attached him to the ground, and then nothing happened whatsoever. Also, where did that sniper guy even go? I don't know, but I think it's time for my favorite, uh... ...type of thing in the world. And that is AA guns. I don't know about you, but... ...if somebody gave me the rights to use an AA gun in real life, oh boy, it would be so delightful. My favorite thing... ...ever. AA guns. But also, I guess I didn't even describe my plans for what I was gonna do this, uh... ...time of me recording. And that is mostly just destroy this base. The entirety of me playing right now is just for this one base, and this one base only. Even if this base only takes me five minutes to do... Well, five minutes more? Oh no. Uh... That's what I'm gonna... I'm gonna find a way to stretch this out somehow. Not really, but, um... Yeah, oh! Come on! Enemy helicopter destroyed! Yes! That was very enemy and very helicoptery. Man, those things are wobbling around a lot. They might want to get some supports for them. Or, they might want them to just fall over! Yeah! Looks cool, and whatnot. But, I know that, like, at the end of last episode, which I only know because I watched it just, like, a second ago, right before this video that I'm doing right now, um... I noticed that I was going to destroy this base, so that's what I'm gonna do. For once, I'm going to... Wait, strike? Ellie, hello. You. It says enemy helicopter re reinforcements, yet. Oh. Well. Helicopter. No, boy. Well, it was gonna work one way or another. <laughs> Ow. My head is only somewhat made out of rubber. No, oh, no. Yep. I couldn't grapple out of there in time. But hey, at least I'm always good at doing extreme sports. Because he was just doing a kickflip right when he was dying there. And that smirk says, Oh man, I am really good at doing the uh, skateboarding. Just like the Tony of Hawks. Oh, I didn't actually know that. Fast travel is always free from a liberated province. Oh no! Why do they... They spawned me mid-air with momentum. That is impressive, actually. Okay, so we have one helicopter, two helicopters. If only I could lie on the ground, I would do so at Solid Snake. He'd be lying right in front of me. Okay, so... I don't think I really have much of a plan here, other than run in... Oh, I don't remember what Queen song I'm even thinking of, because it's like, it's one that was on probably uh, A Night at the Opera, and it's just like... It's, it's a song. That's all. That's all it really is. Oh no! More than anything else, it's just a song! No! Okay, here's the plan. Go very quickly, downward, sideways. It's gonna work. Uh, yes! One down! Okay, there's another one right behind me. Go at acute angles, not oblong ones. There we go. I'm going to be the expert helicopterer, -er, because this is one of my favorite kind of helicopters in this game, or at least until they 
we'll release. We'll... I don't know the proper terminology. When you get into the next area, they'll probably have more epic helicopters than this, but... Because that one mission had a crazy, crazy helicopter. This one's somewhat crazy, crazy, but maybe not crazy, crazy so much that you'd want to sing a song about it. Okay, here we go. Constantly be moving up or down. Oh, I didn't... I didn't follow my one rule in life. Okay, that should be destroyed. Hopefully. And... Oh, boy. Like another missile or two and I'm screwed. Ah! Yes, you can't hit what's below you. Also, that seems to be an AA gun, I think. And they seem to be not very friendly. <laughs> Unlike the friendly kind of AA gun, which would be an apple... Uh, areola? I couldn't think of any other A word, but that doesn't make any sense. Um... Something dealing with apples that they just, like, go ahead and give you free ones. Yeah. It's like the Apple Company, but better than actual apple that just makes electronics because they're apple that gives you delicious foods. Okay, here we go. That guy... I don't know where he is, but he should be dead uh, a, a few times over. But I think I'll shoot him a little bit more just so then uh, he can't go back to his family. And also that... <laughs> I just love the missiles on this thing, though. It's so good. It's worth it more than any of these uh, expensive products from Apple, as I was... yeah. That works. That works. Okay. I really just need to destroy all AA guns. Okay, I think I'm not destroying it right. There you go. Gate controls. I'll do it! Even though this base is pretty much already destroyed and also... There's... Once this AA gun's down, though... Oh, did I do the unthinkable? I think I might have done the unthinkable. I managed to shoot a rocket down midair with another rocket. I'm better than red. And if you're red, then you're a communist, so... There we go. This is... Wait. Did he... Did he mean to do that? I think that... No. Just no. Woo! <laughs> Undo the... Where, where are they? Oh, there they are. <laughs> they just blow right past me when I'm just standing here, not paying attention to what's going on. There you go. Th there appears to be something firing at us. Guys, you might want to be paying attention. I will shoot you in the butt just so then you don't... Okay, well he died anyway. I wanted to make sure that he wasn't too afraid. Oh no! and not too dead. Where's... What is shooting? That's pretty much the name of the game right now. There you go. Yes, explosions are very hot. And delightful. There you go. I think I just took down an entire... Oh no. I think he's there. I can't tell for sure, but I think he's right there. I'm gonna go into almost first-person action mode. And for some reason, this makes me think of, like, Goldeneye. Oh, you know what? You, sir. You are not enough friends with the rebels. Oh, no. Become friends with the rebels. Oh, there's another tank. Well, let's see how well my tethers are actually are for things. Ooh. I love how, like, awful it is at being able to shoot and turn, despite the fact I'm right next to him. There you go. That's enough tethers. See, now you're gonna stay up there until you realize what you did. And that was- oh no. Well, <laughs> now I just destroyed my way out of here. 
And also all my rebels are dead, so... I think it's time to hightail it to Utah. The greatest of places to hide. No one will find you there. No one. Okay, well... Mm. Yeah, well, how can you- oh no! I was gonna do an epic move that, like, how can you target something with its going through big towers and whatnot? Okay, well, you, sir. Whoa. I think I might actually have auto-aim. Let's see. Yep, yeah, I do. That's actually really useful to note. That I basically have hacks. That if you just zoom in, it just goes right on them. Also, I can BXR, pretty much, it looks like. Okay. I still have a couple more things to do, do here, so... I'm just gonna go right up to the top. Ooh. Man, I just love- oh no! My ability to reel in fast. Okay, if you- if you guys shoot up here, you're gonna be destroying your own stuff. Oh! Oh boy, they're all just like lining up right here. Oh no! That guy has very good accuracy, and I don't... But you know what I have? Auto-aim. That burst went like one through his cheek, one through his eye, and one through his ear. Oh, hello. Hey. Hey. Hey you. Okay, I don't think he actually tethers very well. He does not play well with little dogs. There you go. Bullet combo? Oh no! Well, let's just meant that I was... Well, just, let's just say I, I was meaning to do that and I... Oh! Ho, ho, ho. I was just trying to play some pool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here... The, yeah, it has infinite ammo. Because if you pick up a gun that is big in real life, it has infinite ammo. That's just the way it works. I'm just gonna keep firing at this. Why not? It's saying that it's doing something, and it also is lighting on fire. I don't know if it's just... spontaneously combusting, or if I'm just tickling it enough and then it just... lights itself, because that's what it does when it's... getting tickled, it really doesn't like being tickled. So... Man, this is actually taking a lot longer than I thought. I thought that I would have sawed through this by now and baked a cake. Oh, boy. Okay, if this takes actually like more than like three more seconds, I might actually have to go on top of this thing. Yeah, it's about time. But also, I need to... I can't really aim down very well with this thing. It's one problem. Oh, well. I must go! My radio dish needs me! Okay, this should probably be enough. To push it sideways. We must realign! Is it going to get realigned? It still didn't get realigned. Man, my joke just got ruined. <laughs> like, really? Come on, guys. One more try. Yeah? Oh, it hurts so much! Speaking of cakes, just putting a, this on birthday time. There we go. It's birthday time. And it's birthday time to realign. And reevaluate. Oh, no burning sensations. Okay, I'm just. If I can. I've. Okay, that works. <laughs> That was not according to plan, but... Okay, what I want to do here... No, oh, no! <laughs> At least he has the physics to realize, hey, I should put my hand up on this thing. It'll make me for keep from falling down a little bit better. Okay, so... There are weapons down there. It wants me to take, like, really, really badly. Eh, somewhat worth it. Oh, that's what I need to do. I'm surprised that I didn't actually blow all these things up just from the power of uh, Rico's love. It is a fire. Unknown to most. But this man will know the power of Rico's love. 
There he goes. That's some love right there. If I've ever seen some. Ah. Uh. Oh, there's bullets. There you go. So that's the end of those, and then there's just one more transformer. Okay, gotta do this Mistbusters style. Oh no, I still got hurt through the thing. So I was trying to get myself some shielding. That's it, you know, you, you're gonna die, man. You're gonna die. Just because. Or should I say just cuz? Oh no. Oh no, why are there, are there two of them? I... I was stuck in... Pistol mode. I don't know what you should be calling it, but there you go. Expert way of getting around. Now... You know what, I'm just gonna be the lazy way. Transformer right in the middle. Okay. I don't think it's really the, the lazy way necessarily though, because it just... It's being very... It, you're using your surroundings to your advantage. You're just actually knowing, like, hey, I can use a map. So it's not that. Oh, come on. Those guys are not very friendly. I came into this base expecting nothing but hospitality and happiness. You guys are not bringing the love. So you know what? I'm not even going to be in this sector when I blow this thing up. I'm gone. Goodbye. I say- I say good day, sir. I said good day. Oh, no. Well. I said good day. Uh. Okay, I think I'm still gonna be in this sector, but... I'm in the- the other, uh... Postal code. CS Navajo. Or should it- it probably would be like Navajo, but... Yeah, and actually Navajo sounds better than Navajo anyway. Cause I want that Navajo. I don't know. It sort of works, but it doesn't. This vehicle is unlocked and appears in your Rebel D Rop list. Ah, uh, that's what I want. A punk detour. Cause uh, hey man, I punked ya. New challenge unlocked. Mortar frenzy. I'm not doing that. Four out of five. Uh, I'm happy with that. 